Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brown with Superman's Comics in collaboration with comicbookinvest.com. This video, I'm going to give you my weekly picks for new comic books that are coming out Wednesday, January 16th, 2019. Now, if this is your first time on my channel, I do a lot of comic and pop culture related videos. So please click that subscribe button and that bell notification. So that way, you'll never miss a future video. Now, to the comic cave. Black Hammer Director's Cut number one kicks us off this week. If you haven't read this story, it's a great story. The Director's Cut edition is going to have high res, unclean scan of Dean Ormstrom's beautiful ink line art, as well as the original script from Jeff Lemire and high res scans of the original cover. Batman Who Laughs number two. Batman sets out on a trail throughout the different realities of the multiverse, and Bruce Wayne begins to deduce that his current life is somehow wrong and that all mistakes he's made are somehow connected. There's a regular cover by Jock. There's also a regular price variant by Ben Oliver. I like both covers, so you can't go wrong with either one. Catwoman number seven. Penguin comes from Gotham to Villa Hermosa, but it's not just his come in on Selena's new scheme. He's come bearing hot gossip about everything and everyone Selena tried to leave behind. There's a regular cover by Joel Jones. There's also a gorgeous regular price variant by Ben Oliver. I'm definitely picking up the Oliver variant. Detective Comics number 996 and the Catacombs under Paris. Henry Descartes not going to sit and wait for the death that's coming for everyone who's helped to train Batman. He's going to wrestle it to the ground, put a bullet between its eyes. Good plan, but what if it just gets right back up? There's a regular cover. There's also a regular price variant for this by Brian Stelfreeze. Flash number 62. Flash tracks down a new user of the mysterious Sage Force who's a young Zondarian spy named Bashir. Flash needs his help against the dual threat known as Gemini, who wants to steal both the Speed and Sage Forces. There's a regular cover by David Yarden. There's also a gorgeous regular priced variant by Jay Lee. I like the Lee variant for this. Hawkman number 8. Hawkman heads to Krypton, which is the alleged location of the super weapon that's going to help him stop the Deathbringers. We have a regular Brian Hitch cover. There's also a regular priced variant by Bill Sinkovitz. Justice League Dark number 7. Man Bat plays narrator and chronicles the nightmarish menagerie known as the Other Kind Horrific. Monstrous entities such as the Soup, the Rip, and the Offspring burst through Sphere of Gods and invaded Earth. There's a regular cover. There's also a regular price variant by Kelly Jones. Red Hood Outlaw number 30. Jason's hot on the heels of the drug he and Arsenal recently tracked to Beijing, but instead of finally encountering the mysterious solitary, he finds himself face to face with the figure from his past. We have a regular cover by Pete Woods. There's an awesome regular price variant by Philip Tan. Suicide Squad number 50. There's an infection spreading through the prison that cannot be allowed to reach the surface. Only thing standing in the way of a global pandemic is the Suicide Squad. We have a regular Jim Lee and Scott Williams cover. There's also a regular price variant by Francisco Martina. I like both covers, but I think I'm leaning towards the Martina more. Supergirl number 26. Kara finds herself in the clutches of the Citadel and its ruthless leader Harry Hokum, who is eager to experiment on her. There's a regular cover for this. There's also a regular price variant by Art Journal. Superman number 7 in this issue, we get an introduction to an all different Superboy. Secrets are going to be revealed, a new look debuts, and Superman's world is going to be changed forever. We have a regular cover by Ivan Rice. There's also a regular price variant by David Finch. Titans number 33. This is part one of Into the Bleed. Raven Solsov has been trapped in Unearth for months, and the team finally figures out a way to return and save their teammate. We have a regular cover. There's also a regular price variant by Tyler Kirkham. Wonder Woman number 62. This brings us to the final knockdown drag out battle between Ares and Wonder Woman. There's a regular cover by Terry Dotson. But what I like on this is the regular priced variant by Mateo Scalera. Gideon Falls number 10. The past finally catches up to the present when Doc gives Father Fred a rather gruesome history of Gideon Falls. If finding a needle in a haystack is impossible, what chance does Norton have of finding one in a giant garbage dump? Regular cover by Andreas Horntino. There's also a regular priced variant by Christian Ward. Middle West number 3. Abel and Fox learn that there may be someone who can help the boy's worsening condition, but the road to reach her is long and unpredictable. Warning number three. This kicks off the alien counteroffensive operation, codename All Weather. Amazing Spider-Man number 13. It's up to Spider-Man to save Jonah Jameson's life. 
We have a regular cover by Ryan Otley. There's also a regular price Marvel 80th Anniversary variant by Phil Noto. Black Widow number one. Killed by one of the true friends she allowed herself to have, she's back from the dead and angry as hell. There's four different covers for this. There's a regular Clayton Crane cover. There's an incentive 1 in 25 Mirka Andolfo variant. There's an incentive 1 in 50 Kevin Nolan variant. There's also an incentive John Prusema Hidden Gem variant. Conan the Barbarian number 2. Conan finds himself beyond the Black River, surrounded by warlike picks, but the tribesmen may be the least of his worries if he cannot fight his way through the demonic beast slithering around the forest. First issue was fantastic. Really looking forward to picking this one up. Ten out five different covers for it. There's a regular side ribbit cover, regular price the Manuela Lupacino variant, regular price John Tyler Christopher action figure variant, a 1 in 25 Chris Bacallo incentive variant, and a 1 in 50 Mark Brooks incentive variant. Fantastic Four number six. Galactus has returned to devour the Earth, and only one man can save it. Doctor Doom. This has six different covers for it. There's a regular side ribbit cover. There's a regular Marvel 80th Anniversary variant by Phil Noto. There's a regular price Guardians of the Galaxy variant by Pasquale Ferry. There's a Marvel's 25th Anniversary variant by Alex Ross. There is also a regular price Mystery variant. And there's an incentive Bill Senkovitz variant. Invaders number one. Invaders return, but this time Namor is the enemy. He's a global threat, more powerful than ever, and his deadly plans are as deep and far-reaching as the ocean, and revelations about his past could threaten the Marvel Universe. This is going to have a bunch of different covers for it. There's a regular Butch Geist cover, regular price Alex Ross variant, regular price Joe Casada Virgin variant, regular price Frank Robbins Hidden Gem variant, regular price Scotty Young Baby variant, there's an incentive Miko Swayan, Sw Miko, you know, the name in the, the name on the screen, Soyan, and an incentive Joe Quesada version sketch variant. I love the Alex Ross. It's regular price, beautiful cover. In fact, that's my pick of the week. Man Without Fear number three. This issue deals with the many loves of Matt Murdock dealing with the Daredevil being gone. There's three different covers for it. There's a regular Cal Hotz cover, regular price Giuseppe Comicoli connecting variant, and a incentive 1 in 25 Luke Ross variant. Marvel Comics presents number one. Brings back the classic Marvel series for Marvel's 80th anniversary. It's gonna have three Titanic tales celebrating the first decade of Marvel. First is gonna be an all new tale of the man they call Wolverine, beginning in the 1940s. Then comes Captain America, the first Avenger of World War II, still fighting for freedom today. And finally, the untold tale of Namor and the atom bomb. This has five different covers for it. There's a regular cover by Arthur Adams, regular price variant by Ron Lim, regular price hidden gem variant by Addy Grinov, there's a 1 in 25 incentive variant by Marcos Martin, and a 1 in 50 incentive variant by John Cassidy. Marvel Tales Venom number 1. Rediscover the notoriety of Spider-Man's most fearsome foes and celebrate Marvel's 80th anniversary with the return of Marvel Tales. This is going to have a regular and an incentive virgin variant cover both by Jen Bartel. Venom number 10. Eddie Brock takes a walk to memory lane and revisits San Francisco for the first time in years. It's got a regular cover by Ryan Stegman. There's a regular price Marvel 80th anniversary variant by Phil Noto and a regular price Conan vs. Marvel villains variant by Umberto Ramos. Baby Teeth number 14. This is one book from Aftershock Comics that I enjoy picking up. Donny Cates writing, great story. If you're a fan of horror comics, you should definitely be reading this book. If you're a fan of horror comics, then you should definitely be reading this book. Walk through hell number seven. As Shaw and McGregor face their nemesis at last, Driscoll struggles to answer Goss's cries for help, only to find herself mired deeper than the agents under her command. But with things at their darkest, answers come from an unexpected source. Appalachian Apocalypse number one. This is from Cave Comics. It's issue one of a six issue miniseries. After the ancient staff of Lilith reanimates the dead, country boy JB and his estranged upper crust wife Anne must come together to stop the zombie hordes and save the people of Appalachia. Night to the Golden Sun number three. Uriel arrives in Pella only to witness a group of giants wreaking havoc on the village locals. This series is freaking phenomenal. Been loving it. I actually got an advanced copy of this issue, read it. I can't tell you enough. Make sure you guys pick this up. It's been selling like gangbusters in the secondary market issues number one and two, and for good reason. Definitely gonna pick this up. White Widow number one. This comes from Red Giant Entertainment. 
Gabrielle Garcia was a typical American girl going to college to follow in her father's footsteps until one night her father barged into her dorm room, suffering from a fatal gunshot, and injected her with something. And that was the moment she became the White Widow. There's two different covers for it. Both of our two different covers for this. One is a holographic foil logo by Jamie Tyndall, and the other is a red foil cover by Jamie Tyndall as well. So there you have it guys, those are my picks for new comics that are coming out Wednesday, January 16, 2019. As always, comment down below, let me know what books you guys are picking up, let me know what books you guys recommend. This is Brian with Superman's Comics, in collaboration with comicbookinvest.com, and I'll see you guys next week.